This is a used Mac that I purchased from a great website. The website where I purchased the uh, Mac is below. This video is not on that, but just in case you were interested, I think this is a... So instead of me telling you, let me just show you. This comes with El Capitan 10.11. Again, I bought it used, working very well. This is a three point, the three gigahertz core to do. It's an old computer, four gigs of RAM. I'm using it more as a consumption device. So I'm just um, logging into websites. I'm a big Udemy user. And I also use YouTube to get uh, information. I actually put this one, uh, I got a very good price. So um, taking my chances on it in the garage and I'm leaving it in the garage so that when I'm doing something in the garage and I need to look something up on YouTube for instructions, I can use this machine. But since the version of the Mac OS, this is the highest I can go on this machine. This is a 2008 uh, iMac, 27 inch, or wait, no, 24 inch, I'm sorry. This is a 24 inch, I believe it's a 24 inch. Yes, I just measured it as a 24 inch. So I decided to install Windows 10 on this machine uh, to see if I can get it um, some use out of it because the specs are not bad in running Windows 10. And again, I'm just looking to, if I have an updated OS, I don't have to worry about compatibility, compatibility issues in regards to Programs not working properly. So let's go to the. Uh, I installed Boot Camp and I put Windows 10. So let's look at this, the Windows 10 specs, and let me explain why why I'm actually doing this video. So this is Windows 10, boot it up. And my issue with Windows 10 on this machine was getting the sound to work. The pre-installed drivers, or actually uh, I installed Bootcamp on this machine, but the drivers that it installed weren't the correct ones to get sound out of this machine. So I had to install external speakers, which I didn't want because it made it more bulk bulkier and I had to have room for speakers. And I was just looking for a workaround. So let me, what ended up happening was uh, installing standard speaker systems. Now, let me make sure that it didn't go back because sometimes it actually reverts back to the old drivers. And that was another issue I was having. Um, so let me see. Okay, so uh, the, re the revert back to the old drivers didn't uh, happen on this machine. Uh, it happens a couple of times, so I actually keep the software on the machine. Anyway, so this is the speaker system itself. This is the 2008 Core 2 Duo, and this is part of Bootcamp. I found it in Bootcamp. I'm just trying to make it easier for others so they don't have to hunt for it like I did and install everything in the bootcamp uh, thumb drive uh, until it actually works. So this is the actual software for the speakers for the sound to come out of the machine for it to work, which is the Realtek high definition audio uh, software. And this was, let me just, um, because I actually keep the software on the machine. So this is the one that I was using, the Realtek setup. And once I installed it, it got rid of the old um, software that Windows installed and the audio started working and I got rid of the speakers, which is great. The top two ones, I'm gonna show you what they're for. This is, that's the Series Auto uh, drivers, the CS4206. That's for another iMac that I had an issue with. I'll show you that in a second. But as you can see, 
I have sound now. Before I did it, I couldn't get it working. I had to put the external speakers, which is a pain in the butt. So that software will, there'll be a link below to, for, uh, uh, so that you can download it and use it, um, just to make it easier for those looking for the drivers for the 2008 iMac uh, Core, uh, Core 2 Dual uh, operating system for, I'm sorry, uh, iMac computer for Windows 10 operating system to get it to work. Uh, if the link's below, make it easier for you guys. I hope it helps. Let me show you my other issue. This is 2008, then I have uh, two other machines the 2011 ones, which were, or the, which are 27 inch iMacs. This is the second used iMac that I purchased from the website, which will, I'll have the link below uh, to that website. Very nice people, very great place to make some purchases. Um, anyway, so my issue, this was a, this is a, This has Yosemite installed, again, 10.10, .10, not the latest OS. So I ended up, again, installing Windows 10 on this machine to get more out of it, so I can get more items installed. It has pretty good specs for running a standard machine for Zoom and uh, homework and Google and streaming videos and stuff like that. So the specs are great. Uh, for Windows, I know I'm installing Windows on a Mac machine, um, but instead of just leaving it with Yosemite, I was having some issue with some programs no longer being supported. Um, I think Zoom didn't work on this OS. I needed a, uh, a 10 point, I needed the 10.12, which was the high Sierra or the Sierra to run Zoom. So that was an issue. So that's why I had to also install windows on this machine again i couldn't get the audio to work on this machine on windows so for this problem this is a 27 inch um the model is a1312 it's uh imac 27 inch i couldn't get it working i couldn't get the audio working when i installed windows so let me show you that so I just want to say that I'm a regular, normal, standard user that just tries to get things to work sometimes. I spent about two or three days looking for this driver on the internet uh, after installing a bunch of malware and other types of software by accident. Um, I ended up running into some website that had this, I, I, I don't even know. I'm just trying to make it easier for those that are going through the same thing I'm going through to look for this software to get the sound to work. Now you do this at your own risk, at your own risk. I am not a professional, I'm a regular standard YouTube guy just trying to share information. So this is the, again, iMac. Uh, this one is the i5 A1312 27 inch iMac. And I, the sound did not work. I had to put audio devices uh, or actually speakers connected to the headset output to get sound. Now that um, I finally got the correct software installed, everything works on it. So what I found is that, um, let me just show you. Uh, let's get to the playback. And this is the actual speaker itself. And as you can see, it's the series logic one. And it's working just fine. No issues whatsoever, which is great. This is the device driver. You can see it right there. No exclamation marks, no errors. And this is when I double clicked it and driver information. So again, I'll be providing a link below to the software, but let me just show you something. Um, I've already shown you this, but the top one. So this iMac is the i5 CPU, Intel CPU. 
And this has the 4206A1 installed. This is the software you'll be downloading, 4206 install. And the, that's the, uh, let's just look. Yep. So the top one will go for the i5 iMac CPU. And the bottom one, the 4208, that's for the i7 version. The Realtek setup was actually for the uh, Core 2 Duo that I showed you earlier, the 2008 iMac. Anyway, um, so make a long story short, I have two mid-2011 iMacs, 27-inch, A1312. One's an i7, one's an i5. Couldn't get the audio working. Those two top drivers had them working. I just explained that the top one is for the i5, the middle one is for the i7. The Realtek setup worked on my Core 2 Duo 24 inch 2008 iMac. Uh, and I've had no issues. Again, you do this at your own risk and I hope that the video helps. And if you have any further questions, uh, um, please feel free to ask them below. Thank you. Bye.